what's up you guys make sure september 10th you come out and get your tickets to tech port arena the doors open at six and the first bout is at 7 30. Is Rudy Campos Jr. with The Rock himself, Sweep the League podcast, Iron Refocus Radio, Baller Boys podcast. Hey, this is the official press conference, CMB Promotions, Firepower, September 10th at the Port Center, San Antonio, Texas. It's the place to be. Local boxing going on next week, September 10th. Port Center, TMB Promotions, Firepower. Rock, are you ready for next week? Oh, I'm more than ready. You know, I, it's been my first boxing match, so I'm more than ready to you know, talk with the fighters, see it live, and we'll see what the party's going to have to go to. Exactly. It's going to be myself. It's going to be The Rock. It's going to be Shamaya on the beats. Candice Avila Garcia is going to be joining us. Hey, the Port Tech Center is going to be rocking TMB Promotions, Firepower. But right now, it's the official press conference here at Dave & Buster's. Let's get to the press conference now. Que nos 
permitió la oportunidad aquí de presentarnos en nuestra primera pelea en Estados Unidos y aquí que más en San Antonio que ha recorrido muchas funciones eh, ya grandes este, y pues mi rival, mi rival muy duro este, pero pues nosotros siempre vamos a estar listos para una guerra este, él ya lo sabe aquí, este, venimos a así como está de gente aquí frente de mí mucha gente quiero que esté mismo en la función de boxeo y les voy a dar un buen sabor de boca esta noche. ¡Saludos a Antonio! The basic thing for those who don't, he's said he's bringing, he's coming to war. He's prepared for eating and everything. And everybody that will be there Saturday, he's going to leave you with a good taste in your mouth. And spectacular fun. We're going to applaud, thank you. His opponent, uh, again, I, I spoke to him on his behalf, 9-1, six knockouts. He's a guy that's been in some of the best camps in boxing with the best camps. Um, he's a phenomenal boxer, spectacular fighter. We're privileged to have him as well back on the card. Uh, with a record of 9-1 with six knockouts, I'd like to bring up Biggie Robert Rodriguez.
your girl Jackie. Make sure you get some tickets to Firepower. TMB presents on September 10th. The doors open at 6 and the first bow is at 7.30. I'll see you there. TMB promotions today. The event is Firepower, September 10th. The Port Tech Center. We're here with heavyweight himself, Ruru Silva. Ruru, are you excited for this event coming up? I'm excited, I'm hungry, and I'm I'm ready to get it. I'm ready to get it. I'm ready to fight, man. I can tell because I've seen your, your training videos recently. I've seen the pictures, man. I just see a different type of mentality from Ruru right now. What's this mentality we see going into September 10th? Um, more, f I would say more focus because this is going to be a, a big test for me. It's actually maybe you could say my first test to see you know where I go from here so I'm really excited to see what I can do myself now that I have you know not saying anything else about my opponents but this is going to be a really good test so me being focused and everything has a lot to do with yeah, and your last opponent, I mean, everybody knows the war of words that went on on social media at the last press conference. We're hoping the fireworks aren't like that again today, like the last press conference. But if they are, they are. But the biggest thing is the mentality part. I've seen the focus in your eyes during these videos, during these training sessions that you've been posting. It's just like we just talked about. It's a different feeling going into this fight. It's a bigger test for you. The outcome of next next Saturday's card, September 10th, is it still going to be heavyweight for Ruru Silva coming out of that fight? Oh, absolutely! Every day is heavyweight. The way that I the way that I put it out there, it's more than just a than a weight class. It's a mentality. Heavyweight, I feel, is like the men's league of boxing. So I mean, you know, to be you know in the position I'm at and to have the fan base that I have, it's it it, it feels good, man. So yes, it's there's it's always going to be heavyweight. Yes, sir. All the time. Now, before we go, man, before we let you go, because we got the press conference going on here, we got to give a word to your fan. We always allow y'all to give words to your fans. What do you want to tell everybody out there? Going into September 10th at the Port Center, TMB Promotions, Firepower, what do you got for your fans out there? Um, the tune in next week, next Saturday, September 10th. If you want to see some fireworks, this heavyweight clash between me and Corey Barlow is, is the fight to see. I plan on stealing the show once again and showing everybody what heavyweight shit means. Exactly. This is Ruru Silva. I guarantee you heavyweight is going to be going down next Saturday, September 10th at the Tech Center. Don't miss it. TMB Promotions Firepower. Check out one of the great fighters, local fighters here in San Antonio, Ruru Silva, Rudy Campos Jr. signing off for Sweep the League Podcast, I'm Refocus Radio, and Baller Boys Podcast. All right, Rudy Campos Jr. back with Sweep the League Podcast, I'm Refocus Radio, Baller Boys Podcast, here with Devaney, Devaney Cuevas actually. She had a fight last TMB Promotions against Leanne Smith. Now, it's not like Aldenon, it's Smith. And it's a rematch. So first and foremost, what everybody wants to know, rematch-wise, you've got your opponent down a little bit. You came out the victor last time. How do you go into this fight, going into this one? It's going to be a little bit different now, focus-wise, because it's you got a little better feel for her. So this one, how's it going to be going in? Um, honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, I just, I'm going to go in there and you know, do my work, do what I'm best at doing, and I love doing this, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So. Yeah, and it, I know this is going to be a little bit tougher coming in this round because maybe the faults or the sides that she saw on you this last match is going to be able to try to focus on those. So do you go into this fight changing anything, or is it just the same game plan each and every fight? No, so it's definitely every fight for me, it's a learning experience. So the first, uh, the first time with her, it was learning experience for my second fight, which I did better than the first time. So this time is going to be even better, just because I'm learning from what I didn't do, you know, last fight, like things that I didn't work on. So it's a different, you know, um, game plan. So. Yeah. And what's kind of crazy is that first fight was your debut fight. So have all the nerves gone away as far as debut goes? I, everybody gets nervous. Yeah. But as far as the debut match goes, it's kind of already over. It's done with. You've also had a fight in between that fight as well. So now coming to this, is it less nerves or is it still got the butterflies in your stomach? I still get the butterflies in my stomach. It's not as bad as the first time, like you said, but I still it's definitely, it's a sensation there that's never going to go away. So it's a, I feel like it's more like adrenaline more than anything else. So. Cool. And the last thing I want to ask you is all the time, what do you have to say for the fans out there? Because your fan base is growing and growing each and every day. So everybody's going to be taking a look at this. What do you have for the fans out there going into September 10th, which is next Saturday at the Port Center? 
Oh, you guys stay tuned for more. Uh, like I told you from the beginning, this is just the beginning. Remember that name, Devani Cueva. So yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. And I remember her telling us last time we interviewed her for the first time before her debut fight, she said, remember the name Devani Cueva. She's continuing to tell you that. Remember the name Devani Cueva for sure. The crowd is packed. The crowd is electric. Fire here for TMB Promotions. Firepower. We are with Leanne Smith. Last fight was against Devani Cueva. First and foremost, before I get into that fight, Leanne, husband is fighting this Saturday. How does that feel? That's exciting. I, I've been watching him for about two years now preparing for this specific moment so I'm really excited for him it's going to be a great fight night for the family Leanne and her husband fighting this Saturday TMB promotions at the Tech Port Center getting into the fight with Devaney it is a rematch I said that was the fight of the night at the last card how are the fireworks going to be going into this fight being that it is a rematch the opponents know each other how do you feel this fight is going to go firework wise I feel like it's going to be exactly what everybody is expecting. Um, we both know each other's style. We both probably are picking each other apart. Um, so it's going to be nonstop action. I, th I feel like we both know that we could have done something or more of something in the last fight. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a banger. I'm excited. I really think that the last fight being that was her debut fight. You really didn't have a whole lot on her and her being nervous. I mean, like you said, a lot more could have been had. But this time around, it's probably going to be again fight of the night i'm calling it again right now fight of the night guaranteed again that was a tremendous fight going into the second fight here does anything change for you as far as training goes um no not as far as training goes actually this this camp was a lot more solid than the first one we had a lot of hiccups going on um but this one was a lot more solid i'm just i feel way more confident way more comfortable and i'm i cannot wait for a saturday i'm ready Nobody can wait for Saturday. Like we said earlier, Friday the night, Leanne and Devaney, the September 10th, this coming Saturday, Port Center, San Antonio, TMB Promotions, Firepower, wishing you the best of luck as always. And like we always, we always leave everybody like this. What do you got to say to your fans out there heading into this fight? Oh, I appreciate everyone's support. All of my sponsors, my coach, of, of course, you know, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But I, I just, I could not do this without you guys, my fans who support me do everything that I do. I love y'all. I appreciate everything that you do for me. And I can't wait for Saturday. Let's turn it up. Yep, we're going to see if it's a tremendous night for the Smith household. Yeah. Two big victories for them. Catch it next Saturday, September 10th at the Port Center. All right, we're at the TMB Promotions Firepower getting Port Center next week, September 10th. But I'm joined by special guest, the Texas Bombas baseball team, right? All right, are y'all guys the best baseball team in Texas? For sure, hands down. All right, I'm gonna go to each and every one of you. I got a couple of questions for y'all. First off, favorite baseball player? Javi Baez. Baez. Um, Aaron Judge. Judge. Tatis. 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 Okay, so Fernando Tatis was here in San Antonio with the missions. He was playing ball. He started here. Y'all went there? Yeah. They're, they're so scared to pitch the ball. That's why Tatis is like about two pop up. Exactly. He's one of the best players in the league right now. And so. That's why they're, they're, they're scared. Oh, I know. But you know what? They're scared like of you guys too. Because y'all are like the best, right? 100% the best. So what do you guys want to do? Hey, future wise. What do y'all want to do in the future? You want to go play in the major leagues? Y'all do? All of us. Give me y'all's ideas. Give me y'all's dreams. What are y'all's dreams for the future? MLB. MLB? My dream is to make it to a big place like sports and like the MLB or NBA or stuff like that. Awesome. MLB, um, a place where you have a big field and I hit a home run. Real home run. Build the dreams right there. The LMB. MLB? NBA. NBA. I would, you know, if I had a choice, I would take the NBA, but I didn't get drafted when I was a rookie, so they didn't want me. I, I was too small. I was too small for the NBA. But guys, I'm wishing y'all the absolute best of luck. The girl. Okay, so I do have a question coming in from the crowd out here. Girlfriends, we got girlfriends. Y'all, does this see what y'all want to share in front of the crowd? No. If you say no, that means you got one. You don't want it to know. Y'all want to share? Yeah. One thousand. One thousand girlfriends. Oh my. Wow. I. I'm. 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 Your parents are probably gonna be a little upset at me for asking that question, though. I'm too young. You're too young. That's a great answer right there. I'm about five. I only have one. 
Nine. 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 Well, we are joined by the Texas Bombas. The, the, this is probably the best team in Texas right here. Texas Bombas baseball, they're growing up. Oh, growing up. And guys, we absolutely wish y'all the absolute best, the best of luck. You guys, good luck on all y'all season. Uh, my dad and mom are Wait, last, last week we went to an All-Star game. Big house too? We did went to an All-Star game before. All-Star game? Where was the All-Star game? It was a... Uh, Cornerstone. Cornerstone, yeah. Cornerstone? How'd y'all do in that? We did all right. Y'all did right? Y'all did good? Yeah. Well, guys, y'all are going to have a great future ahead of y'all, guys, okay? Y'all ready to see yourselves on camera? Yeah, this is going to go all over the world. Hopefully, hopefully we're going to be one of the best baseball players when we go up and every level. Oh, guaranteed. Every guaranteed. Y'all are going to be the absolute best baseball players. But you know what? It starts right now where y'all are young. So y'all keep practicing, okay? Work hard. Everyone's going to see this all over the world. So what? 10, 20 years from now, they're going to say, I saw them when they were young. They were kids. Y'all ready to be famous? Yes. You are? All right. We are joined by the Texas Bombas baseball team. Guys, we're sending them the best of luck on their season and their future endeavors. Rudy Campos Jr. Sweep the League podcast. I am Refocused Radio. Baller Boys podcast here with Rick Morones Jr. TMB Promotions. Hey, Saturday, September 10th, Firepower it's in the title. There's a lot of firepower coming into this card right here. You got a great main, you got a great main event. You got a great co-main event. The women's are fighting again. Rematch of the century already, in my opinion. Rick, going to September 10th. How's it looking? Man, we're excited, man. We're excited. September 10th, we have 11 amazing fights. As you mentioned, a female fight that's going to keep people on their feet throughout the whole night. Um, but we got a main event, a co-main event also that's probably going to steal the show. It's just one of them nights, man, that, you know, any fight could be fight of the night. Yeah, from the uh, response from the crowd tonight, I mean, local boxing is just getting massive here in San Antonio. Very fired up crowd tonight. How do you expect the crowd to be next week at the Tech Center? Oh, my electric. I, I was very impressed here at the press conference. Everybody was so invested in what was going on. It was crazy. I had some videos on my phone. I was overlooking them earlier, and I'm like, man, the crowd was just so pumped up they were so excited so i expect the crowd to be just on their feet man just loud and 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 bringing that world-class atmosphere to the port center september 10th for sure it's gonna be a fire no matter what you got any surprises coming into september 10th for the fans to know man you know we're actually hoping for a special guest um i'm not allowed to disclose that but hopefully uh tuesday or wednesday there's an announcement you'll know um just a global global figure man like he he reached out and he wanted to fly into town and watch some local boxing and so we're kind of hoping on that. So we'll hopefully Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll be able to announce uh, something like that. OK, so we're talking about fight of the night. The fight of the night last month, last bout, where our last event was Devaney and Leanne for me. But there were so many. What fight do you want the fans to really focus on this time? Yeah, man, you know, I'm not even speaking as a promoter in regards to trying to set up. They're all going to be damn good. Mm -hmm. um, but if I had to really give you an answer, I'd probably think the Robert Rodriguez mm -hmm. and Angel uh, Piallo fight is going to be phenomenal. I think it's going to be a world-class competitive matchup where both guys are just going to meet in the center mm -hmm. and they're going to get it. So I think that's a fight that fans and both can punch. So it's makes it even more exciting. But I think that's a, that's a fight fans are definitely can't get up for. Oh, yeah. For Hey, that fight, including all the other fights, September 10th, Firepower, TMB Promotions, the Tech Center. Get your tickets now. Tickets still available? Yes, sir. Tickets are available. We've got a few of the ringside table seats left. Um, you're still general mission. So awesome. please, so. Get your tickets now. Don't miss it. Last one's fire. The past events have been fire. This one's just going to be even that much better. September 10th, be there at the Port Tech Center. TMB Promotions, Firepower, guaranteed to be a great night. Britt. Wishing you the best of luck. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, man. you guys. Thank you for always supporting Santos on the box. Thank you. Always. Rudy Campos Jr. Sweep the League podcast. I'm Pre Focused Radio, Ball of Boys podcast with Rick Munoz Jr. We'll see you next week.